construction work on a tent camp for migrants in the Brighton Park neighborhood begins today, according to 12th Ward Alderwoman Julia Ramirez. CBS 2's Mugo Digwe is live at the site in Brighton Park to explain why neighbors are opposed to the project. And Mugo, any signs of construction out there yet? No, and that was the first thing I was going to mention, Dana. We have not seen any signs of construction starting today just yet. But as you said, we know Alderwoman Ramirez did send a letter to residents here over the weekend telling them to start getting ready to see construction starting out here today. She also added in that note to residents that she's still against this plan to build a winterized camp at 38th in California. She brought up a new concern as well, saying leftover toxic metal is in the soil underneath the lot, which was previously used for zinc smelting. Now, on the other hand, a spokesperson for the mayor tells us the property is suited for the purpose it will be used for, which is those tent-based camp, adding that an environmental impact study has been performed at various sites. As for the tent camp here, it's expected to house about 500 migrants when it first opens, but would eventually be equipped to house as many as 2,000 migrants. People who live in the area, once again, rallied against that plan yesterday. When you think about all the things that we allow to slide, this is another thing that, you know, we just can't allow this to happen. A spokesperson for the mayor also tells us that additional information about that environmental impact study should be released sometime this week. For now, we're live in Brighton Park. Mugodigwe, CBS 2 News. Hugo, thank you. Chicago